Hi, this is Anita from Real Estate Crunch. Today I want to talk a minute about steering, not in the sense of you're steering a car or steering a ship, but what steering means in real estate. You know, steer, steering is a term in real estate that refers to an ethical or illegal practice where an agent influences or limits, it, limits a client's housing option on a discrimination factors or through discrimination. Let me give you some examples. So basically, the, there's a Fair Housing Act, where the Fair Housing Act says that in housing, there should be no discrimination. And they specifically say with race, religion, gender, disability, familial status, or nationality. So in other words, the same thing if somebody's looking for a job, they should not be discriminated against. The same thing when it comes to housing or where someone should live, that everyone should have the right to live where they want to live. So steering is also can also be where an agent might try to only steer you or show you properties which are of a certain value because they want to be able to receive a higher commission. So they refuse to show you anything that they think could be of lesser value or be less commission for them. That could also be a way of steering. Either one of these is illegal in real estate. And the reason why it's illegal is because there's a bias attached to it. There's this underlying bias that's attached to steering. And it also means too that your agent is not there to do the best job that they can for you. You know, an agent kind of in a way is sort of like a lawyer. You know, when you hire a lawyer and if you're going to go to the court case, the lawyer is supposed to fight to defend for you um, at all costs. And so it's the same thing with an agent. An agent is supposed to, they work for you, you have employed them, and they are supposed to help you out at all costs or help you find the best decision that you can for yourself and for, you know, you, for what you need and for your own, your own property. So this is why steering is wrong and it's illegal. It's an ethical violation. And it's also a legal one. In the United States, it's illegal because it contravenes the Fair Housing Act. You know, there's a couple of warning signs that maybe your agent is using this technique of steering. And here's a couple things that you can look for. They might be giving you like targeted neighborhood recommendations. Maybe you say like, I really want to live in this neighborhood, but they say, oh no, you need to live in this neighborhood instead. And they might cite the reasons why, because of the fact, maybe it has to do with the fact that you are, you know, African-American and all the African-Americans live there and you should not live in this other neighborhood. If it's predominantly white, you should live in this neighborhood instead. That would be a sense of steering. If they refuse to, even if you tell them and say like, no, I want to, I want to find property in this neighborhood, but they refuse to show it to you, then that could also be steering. They can misrepresent um, crime rates in certain neighborhoods to try to get you to be able to buy there. So they're not really telling you the truth. So they're trying to somehow convince you and not really showing you what the truth would be. You know, believing that somehow you would belong better in this neighborhood than another neighborhood. They could be withholding information on the school system, not really telling you what the schools are like. They could be making assumptions based on your demographics. In other words, let's say if you're an older couple and you say, I would like to live in a neighborhood where there's a lot of younger people. We want to live around younger people, not around a bunch of older people. And they only refuse to show you, you know, they only want to show you places that are 55 and older. That'd be a sense of steering. They're trying to get you in a 55 and older community. They might be looking at religious considerations when showing you property. And they could refuse to show you properties when you request them to show you a property in a certain area. So if you find out or you believe that your agent is maybe doing this, what's called steering, you know, you can report them to the um, ethics board and you can let them know that they're doing the steering. And, you know, simply I would get myself another agent because if you suspect this or you think that they're doing this, this agent is not really working for your good. And remember, at the end of the day, the agent works for you. You do not work for them. They work for you. They are earning commission off of your sale. And so you need to make sure that you have an agent that is working for you, that is helping you make the best choice available, and is helping you make the best decision available for you and for your life and for what you need. 
This is Anita from Real Estate Crunch. Thank you so much for listening. I've written a blog post on this called Understanding Steering in Real Estate and Its Implications, and we go into a lot more detail about what steering is. So if you're interested in this topic, we suggest that you read it. We'll put a description below. Thank you so much for being part of our community. We thank you for being part of our podcast community. We hope you'll subscribe. Press that subscribe button now. We'd love to have you subscribe. And so you can keep updated on every week when new information comes in so you can spend a few minutes each week and learn something new about real estate. Thank you so much. We know without you, this would not be possible. Mm -hmm.